Oh my goodness, he landed right there in front of me. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Uh, we are wasting zero time today and I mean that. You know where we're headed, we're headed out back. I showed you all this, uh, the, what, last video? Yeah, this is where the group of quail jumped up and scared the absolute, of the locust. It's a little wild back here if you can't tell. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, anyways, thank y'all for being here. Uh, y'all loved the last dove hunt. It was a public land walk-in. Yes, we are gonna go back to that spot, and yes, I have some more public land options. And yes, a lot more dove hunts are coming. The teal hunts are on the way. It's almost season, y'all. Which brings me to my next point before we get running and gunning here. And as y'all can tell, I got you on the GoPro. I have asked you guys, do you like, do you guys, blah, 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 do you guys like the big camera or the GoPro on my head? And a lot of you are like, we love the big camera behind you. So uh, this video is gonna be mainly GoPro because we will be running and gunning. I'm gonna try to get my limit out back so we're mixing it up just kind of going back and forth having fun with the videos of course and yes i do have the old gun camera on so but like i was saying over at my podcast y'all i am giving away a teal slash dove hunt for mid-september it's coming up it's only in a couple weeks so we're gonna have to draw this we'll probably draw monday or tuesday over there on the podcast so if you guys are interested Come in here, hunt with me, Preston, Gerald, uh, having a bunch of fun on teal and dove, teal dove hunts. Go subscribe to the podcast. It is always linked down below, right at the top of the description. We talk about a lot of fun things over there, have a lot of fun guests, and there's episodes uh, now every single week because it's hunting season. One more thing before we get going. I'm going to have to run and gun a little bit. I think I'm going to be able to scratch some birds back here, y'all, just from walking around before we get set up with the mojo. Over at Uncut Outdoors, yeah, y'all have heard about it. I'm doing all of my duck calling tutorials, goose calling tutorials over there. It is also linked down in the description, every single video. Go over there, subscribe, hit my link. Hit my link, you have to use my link um, in the description so I can get some credit. Thank you all, let's get going. Alrighty, we are probably gonna spook up some, so I just gotta be ready. First of all, if y'all like this video so far, you know what to do. It takes 0.2 seconds, y'all. Smash a thumbs up. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. Thank you. There's one. Yeah, buddy. On the board. I told y'all, these wild sunflowers, I've been staying out of them. I've been trying not to disrupt it at all. And uh, it's really helped the uh, dove Quite a few dove that were in here about two weeks ago. It's a north wind today, a cool breeze, and I think it's gonna be a north wind for a week uh, from what the forecast says. And so I'm like, I gotta hunt this before this cold front, this north wind, cool north wind, pushes all these dove south. So one on the board. We gonna be eating good tonight. Oh, here's, we got tons of feathers right here. Should have skipped right there he is right there underneath the right underneath the old sunflower that is awesome good looking bird did not get tore up at all one in the bag as you can tell i mowed all this and the dove have loved all this sand then i put this old dead tree out here and buried it dove love the dead trees they use it all the time oh Oh my gosh, so many of them just got up. I'm just gonna take a take a knee for a minute. A lot. All right, this might be the tipping point. I need to go, uh, I'm gonna go grab the golf cart. It's got my mojos, my bucket, and I'm gonna get sat up. Have not showed you guys this either. The reason I didn't show you guys, cause I didn't think it was gonna take off. Luckily we got a rain uh, a few nights ago. Maybe it was a week ago, I don't know, but the millet came up. I planted some millet and it is coming up pretty darn decent. I am very pleased with it. Um, didn't know what type of luck we would have, but here we are. Uh, I've scouted in the old golf cart. There's a golf cart over there, right under that tree right there. That's where we'll be sitting. 
a lot of dove come in to get a drink and they land on this bank right here. So I got a flicker, I got a spinner. I'm gonna put them right here where I usually see them land the most, right? I think I'm gonna put this one down here, closer to the water. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on, boom. So what I'm trying to imitate, this one's landing up here, one's landing down here. I should get some attention. Whoops, let's step this off. It's a little farther than I wanted, not gonna lie, but probably right at about 30 yards, <clears throat> give or take. Um, I'm guessing 30 yards, uh, but if they come in closer, I'll shoot them closer. I do have the ducks full choke in, and at that range, that's when she's starting to really open up. So it should work just fine. I'm not scared about that. Coming from the right. He gives me a good shot. I'm gonna take it. Oh, we got one right out front. It might be the same one. Oh, he landed over there. Well, I might have a better plan yet. Alrighty, we're moved. That only took about five minutes total. Right at five minutes. So I really wanted to, and we will. I just don't have enough time right now. Uh, we have to. I'm gonna have to dig all the blow sand off the top of the pit blind but i really wanted to do a dove hunt pit blind pit blind dove hunt it's just uh it is sealed on there with all this dirt and when the birds are flying i ain't got a lot of time to be working right now so if you guys want to see me do the pit blind dove hunt before all these birds are gone you guys got to drop a comment down below and let me know because if so i'll uh <laughs> I'll uncover the top, get her all cleaned out. She probably needs to be cleaned out for the season anyways, you know? Let me know. Oh my goodness. I, oh, every time I went to pull the trigger, did you see me stutter? I was like, oof, oof, and then I finally shot. Every time I went to pull the trigger, that dove lifted in the wind. I knew they were right there somewhere. <laughs> How did I? Oh, right behind it again. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my shooting lately, guys. Feels like I've been struggling. Don't know, that should have been an easy shot right there, y'all. I mean, 100%. Been a little off lately, I don't know. Maybe, I'm just used to pigeons, probably. Uh, pigeons, I've been, you know, hunting all summer. And these little burgers are fast. When it's windy, they're real fast, so whatever. Some days you're good, some days you struggle a little bit. There we go. There we go. Right when he was putting his feet down, I got him. He's still, he's hurt. He's gonna try to fly on me again. There we go. There we go. Nice. I know where he's at. He's probably in the pond. So you can't shoot dove if their feet are on the ground. Okay, that's Kansas law. So he was just backpedaling. I'll have to look at the shot cam, but it's probably really cool. All right, where's my birds? Oh, yeah. As you can see, no dogs again today. Yep, there's a reason. The reason is Judge, his paw is still hurt. And Fred, it's just too hot in the afternoon right now to hunt him. You, you all know that. There's my bird right by the bank. Sweet. 
We got three in the bag, boys. They are coming to water. Whew, this is awesome. This landed right next to the spinner. Literally decoyed perfect. Well, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. Over the top of them, every single time. He landed on the bank or I wounded him, one of the two. Walk him out too. There he is. You hurt, buddy? Oh, there he goes. Oh, I should have hit you right there. Oh, yeah. That was a far one. I'm out of shells, I need more. Brain and praying out here, but I don't care. We're four birds in. All right, he should be right here somewhere. There he is, look, boom. That is an extremely long shot. I'm gonna use my maps real quick and uh, map out how far that is. What in the world? Oh my gosh! What in the absolute heck is going on, Bob? I mean, that was a far shot, but man, I guess I need to lead more, I don't know. What's crazy is the two times that that has happened when I'm out picking up a bird or scaring up a bird, um, I'm shooting at birds and they're still wanting to decoy. It's like, they don't even care that I'm shooting at them. They still, every time I miss, they go to that decoy, especially the flicker. And they land right beside it. And by that time, I'm probably out of shells. These birds have obviously not seen a spinning decoy at all. So it's a lot of fun. I just need to shoot a little better. Thought we kind of redeemed ourselves there for a minute, but uh, maybe not, Bob, maybe not. Work a little harder here. Come on, put it together, get it together. Come on. Wow, I knew it was far, but I didn't know it was that far. 83 yards. 83 yards is what that was. I probably shot that bird when it was at 75 and then it, you know, kind of tumbled a little bit, but I say 75 yards for sure. There we go. Missed that first shot, got him on the second one. Man, he came right to that decoy. Woo! This is working. This is fun. And it's just like every five minutes, every 10 minutes, another bird. So cool. Oh, we got a single coming right over the pond. Is he gonna short stop us? Oh, yes he is. He, land, he landed right there on the hill. In these situations, guys, my two cents is try to spook them up and get them shot. Because if you don't, you might just lose them anyway. So it's worth a try trying to get them on the ground while they're here, right? Again, you can't Arkansas them. You can't shoot them off, off the ground. So they got to be in flight. Up. There we go. Boom. That's what I was doing wrong. That's what I was doing wrong. I was closing my one eye earlier. Both eyes open. A lot of you have asked me throughout the years, and right there, that was both eyes open. Both eyes open, real quick, pull up, bam. Don't concentrate too much. It's your best shots you can have. 
six on the board. I see him right there. Almost exactly where our last bird was. Oh my God, Bobby guy. Why? Oh, big boy. All right. You ready? We got Bodie today. It's the next morning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look a little tired, Bob. You still tired? No. no? I'm just blocking my eyes. <laughs> you gonna drive the golf cart for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Bodie's gonna drive around, uh, around back. I am going to walk in like we started the video yesterday. Uh, we're gonna see if we can scratch a few this morning. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's in the 60s right now. Couldn't be any nicer and cooler outside. So I'm gonna walk, walk it in, like we did. You're going to be real careful driving back there and I'll meet you there? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'll meet you back there. Let's get to getting. Let's see if we can get a few down today. Uh, yesterday I shut it down because it really started slowing down. Uh, went about an hour without seeing anything. And uh, I was like, yeah, let's just come back out in the morning. So let's see if we can get anything down. Go turn on the flock of flicker. You turn on the mojo already? Good job. That's my boy. All right. Turn on the flock of flicker right there. Turn it over and press the button on the bottom. I didn't even know there you go. Anymore. Now put it down. Good job. Oh, no. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, he got too close, bub. I missed bad. <laughs> Welcome back to the... Ah, uh, Bobby always misses show. That's what I should rename this channel, huh? <laughs> First one of the day came from the left. I wasn't expecting that. Came right to the mojo, 10 yards in front of me. Wasn't ready, trying to turn on the camera. Blech. Oh my goodness, he landed right there in front of me. There we go. Got one, bub. He landed right there in front of me. Got one. That's close. Like that's so so close of a shot. He's over here, Bubba. Come on. Finally got one. Took me four shots. Watch out for these stickers. They will tear you up, Bubba. He's right over here somewhere. Yep. Go get him, buddy. Show everybody at home. Pick him up by the neck. There you go. Ooh, that's a nice one. Does he have a band on his leg? Check his legs. Always got to check. Look at the other one real good. Pull his leg out. Any bands? Nope. That'd be cool, huh? Yep. Come on, bub. That's a good looking dove right there. It's all right. I'll help you. We have so many stickers back here. It's atrocious, honestly. Come on, I'll help you. I gotta bring the chainsaw back here and cut all these stickers down. Yep. I hear you. I hear you, bub. Oh, two of them missed them. <laughs> oh goodness. Wait, there's something in the water right there. It's just a stick. Oh, missed them. That was a far shot though. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here. <clears throat> Say, oh, look at that one. Oh, they are flying heavy now, buddy. Wonder if we should sit it out just a hair more. Look at that. We got two. One. Where's the next one? No, those are not dove. We got another one down here somewhere, unless he flew off. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we're not done, y'all. Go get that one for me, buddy. That a boy. I seen two of them land. The other one must have got out. Come on. 
Checking for bands. Hurry, we got dove flying. Run. They're shooting dove over at the neighbors are. Hear him? He's not bands. No bands? Nope. No bands, big boy? Okay. Nope. Here you go. Imagine if he was bands on both legs. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool, wouldn't it? Yep. All right, just like yesterday. If you see one land, try to walk him out. And try to get close enough to shoot him. I don't know if it'll happen. Where is he at? Where he at? Yeah! Boom! I knew he was right here somewhere. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. Always walk them out. Try to be sneaky about it, quiet. You'll get them. It's always worth trying to walk them out. There we go. Hey, buddy. I got you, didn't I? Did you have fun? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. What are you playing with? I'm a spot ball I got from the alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to roll out. Here's the old pond, though. And I just saw a bullfrog right there. Big bullfrog. We need to come out and do some bullfrogging, don't we, Bob? Yeah, they're already growing massive. They're big bullfrogs. But I need some help. Drop a comment down below. Should I, uh, today, should I bring the mower out and mow all this? Um, I know dove love, um, you know, mowed grass, mowed anything. I'm thinking about mowing all, all this down. Should I do it? Almost all of it. I could leave some of the big uh, sunflowers, you know, the big bushes, but a lot of the grass, a lot of these tumbleweed bushes like that, would it be good? Would it, basically, would it provide better hunting with a dove? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, but the uh, dove hunting here in the backyard, way better than expected. I did not plant any of these sunflowers. And I mean any. These are just all wild and it is awesome. I was hoping to do my dove hunting up here and sit in this thick sunflower uh, patch here. But they all want to land down by the pond. So I'm going to probably do some mowing, let it build up again, and then we'll be back out here. Um, I'm thinking the pit blind, like we talked about. I think that'd be fun. A 410 hunt back here. Maybe Bodie shooting one with a 410. You want to do that? Yeah. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, but Gerald has a 410. Well, no, I th no, we have it here. We have your bolt action here. Not bolt action, your brake barrel single action 410, right? Yeah. It's a single shooter. You gonna look at the camera and tell everybody hi? Hi. <laughs> they haven't got to see you since North Dakota, bub. Not much to say today, huh? That's all right. I'm still a little tired. You're still a little tired. Wow. That's a lot of sunflowers. That's a bunch of sunflowers, isn't it, Bob? But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not. We have another dove hunt coming up from my lease field, and it was insane. You cannot miss that one. And like I said earlier, over on my podcast, we are giving away a dove slash teal hunt uh this week so this coming week uh, you and a buddy whoever wins you and a buddy can come so uh you're gonna come here to the lodge you're gonna stay in the lodge yada 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 you know the spiel uh blind talk is my podcast we have a lot of fun over there uh talk about sticky subjects that i can't talk about on here uh i can use the language and uh talk about what i want to over there like i can't hear so all of you that have been uh, subscribed to the podcast, thank you for being over there. That platform supports me a ton, and I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being over there. 
Like I said, over on Uncut Outdoors, starting tomorrow being Monday, I'm gonna start putting up daily, if not every other day, duck and goose call tutorials. I'm also gonna do uh, choke tutorials, gun tutorials, um, probably shell, ammunition, anything like that. Decoys, setups, I'm gonna do all that over there. Y'all have been wanting to see those videos and I'm gonna bring them to you over there. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing to these other platforms. Um, as you all know, YouTube really took a, a number two on old Bob last September, a year ago when they demonetized me. We are reinstated with monetization, but it's still slow. It's still slow, it's not all back. So thank you guys for the support. Uh, stay safe out there, get out there while the dove hunting's good. It's gonna cool down really, 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 really soon. And when it does, all them dove are gonna go straight to Oklahoma and Texas. So get out there while you can. Thank you all, but until next time. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Gotta go.